So today we're going to talk propane pricing and we're going to unearth the mystery behind propane pricing. And right now I'm setting up a little mock neighborhood here in my gravel. Okay. So let's just pretend that this wagon and this green tractor and this yellow bat, this orange bucket and this tricycle are houses in a neighborhood and they all use propane. And this neighborhood is small. It's like one mile or less for this whole neighborhood. It's a circle kind of development, okay? And let's say the wagon is paying, hmm, they're paying seven, seven ninety eight nine for their propane. Woo, salty. And then this tractor here is paying one fifty five for their propane. And this bat over here is paying 289. And this bucket here is paying 289. And then this tricycle is paying 398. Okay. They all are getting propane from the same company. And the same truck on the same day goes from house to house to house and delivers this propane from the same tank. And it's all different prices. So how is that? How is that even possible? And you may even wonder, you may even be thinking to yourself right now, that's not possible. Well, it is, and it happens, and it is happening right now in your neighborhoods, in your communities, in your towns. So what causes these different prices for the same product among neighbors? It comes down to this. There is one, one determining factor is who owns the propane tank? Does the company who is delivering the propane own the propane tank? Or does the customer own the propane tank? Secondly, what is the propane used for? So, here we had the wagon they had an extremely high price well they're just they're using the company's tank they're using it for cooking they use a very small amount a year and then we had this tractor here i think he was paying 155. he owns his own tank and he just got a once a year fill up a large capacity took about eight eight hundred gallons and he got his for a dollar 55. same propane and then over here, we have two people paying $2.89, right? I think that's what we had. Well, they're using the company's tanks and they're using it for heating. And well, the orange bucket is using it for heating. It's the company's tanks and they're a long-term customer. They just pay their $2.89. They're locked in for the year. And then we've got the bat here. They're a new customer. They're using the company's tanks. We don't know how much they're going to use in a year. So they've got the special first year pricing, which is a good rate to determine where they're gonna fall on that sliding scale. And then over here, we have the tricycle who was paying like 398 or something. And this customer is using the company's tank and is just using it for water heating. So they're using like 400 gallons a year considerably more than the wagon who's just using it for cooking, but not a super ton of consumption. Okay, so this is real, what you've witnessed here. And we can even add, how about let's add, a, let's add another customer here, this thing, I forget, Dolly. Um, they got a delivery. They own their own tanks. They have two 100 gallon tanks and they just get, you know, regular top offs through the winter, 100 gallons each month about. They use six, 700 gallons a year and they own their tank and they're paying, oh, let's see, 199 is what their price was. So there you go. Case in point, this is happening. What you need to know and you need to understand is 
how your propane company determines their pricing and why they do it and the rhyme and reason behind it. And you need to ask the questions. You need to ask, what would my price be if I owned my tanks? What would my price be if I don't own my tanks? How do you charge? Is it based on what you use it for? Is it based on your yearly consumption? You need to understand all these things because you can see that there is quite a difference. There is a considerable amount of dis difference. And, and when I worked in the industry, I always felt that this was very frustrating because of course any industry wants to grow, right? Like, like everybody wants their industry to grow. You're there to grow and flourish and you want success in your business. And, and yet there were these, this is how pricing was done and, and nobody understands why or how. And so you've got this person paying $8 a gallon for cooking propane. And they're thinking to themselves, I need a new heat source, but there's no way I'm going to use propane because it's $8 a gallon. And they don't understand. And no one has ever explained it to them. And no one is going to explain it to them because they're going to become so infuriated that they're paying $8 a gallon for propane when it, if they just used more, like this bucket over here, it would have been $2.89. Or if they'd owned their tags, they could have got it for $1.55 or $1.99. And so please understand how the pricing is working. Now I, in my experience, I have worked for, well, I've worked for two different propane companies, but I have experiences with three because um, one of the companies I worked for bought a smaller company and I became very familiar with their pricing and how they did things. And all three of these companies used similar pricing techniques and scales and slides and based it on consumption and usage and who owned the tank. So call up your company, ask them to explain it to you, talk to them. I mean, that's what these people's jobs are. So don't feel, you know, like, like you're being a bother or anything. It is your right to understand pricing of a product that you use. And, um, if you um, are new to propane or you have more interest in propane and understanding propane because it is quite the doozy, please check out my other videos. I've got a video on how to read gauges of tanks. I've got a video on tank sizes and I have a video on who owns the propane tank. What is that all about? Um, I'm also going to be adding an additional video about um, advantages and disadvantages to tank ownership. So I hope y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching.